So the first step you want to do is definitely prep your skin. I definitely recommend this part because one, you want your makeup to last longer and two, you want your makeup to apply a lot smoother. I'm using a lot of hydration products because my skin is super dry. Next, I'm going to go ahead and quickly fill in my brows. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I love this brow product. It's the only brow product I use and I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown. Like, I literally cannot leave the house without doing my brows at least. For primer, I'm going to be using the Estee Edit Radiance Activator. This is going to help with luminous and hydration. And like I said, I'm very dry, so this definitely helps with that. Next, I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. I love this. I love using this as an eye primer. It has so much coverage, and it gives us a great canvas to apply eyeshadow so the palette I'm going to be using is the Huda Beauty palette the rose gold edition the first shade I'm going to go in is called sandal wood I love this color because it's great as a transition shade and I'm just applying that on the crease it has a tint of warmth into it and I love that for my skin tone because as you can see I am tan and anything warm um, on the eyes looks so pretty on tan skin and on any skin color but typically on tan skin so next, I'm going to go in with the shade Henna. And basically, I'm applying that right underneath the crease color shade that we used. Next, I'm going to be taking a flat shader brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and wet the brush. So when we apply the pressed pigment, it's going to stand out more. And I'm using the shade Blessed. This color is so pretty. It's more of a bronzy gold color. And I'm just applying that all over the lid, mostly in the inner half of the lid. So next I'm going to be taking the shade Coco and I'm going to be applying that in the outer half of the eyes to add some definition. You can go ahead and add as much as you want or as dark as you want, but I'm going to just apply just a decent amount just to give us some depth in the eyes. Then for eyeliner, we're going to go ahead and use the NYX Precise wing liner I believe that's what it's called but I'll leave all the names of all the products that I use down below and I'm going to create a wing then I'm going to pop on some lashes I'm going to be using the Eyelore lashes I love them so much because they're so full and super light on the eyes but they give you that full lash effect so for foundation I'm going to be using the Fit Me Dewy Plus Smooth and I'm in the color Sun Beige and I'm going to be using the oval brush from Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave all the links down below for you guys. And I love this foundation because it looks super natural on. And you could go ahead and add as much as you want and it'll still look super flawless. Next, I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D setting powder and then I'm going to set my entire face. I love to look super dewy, but still in certain areas I like to look matte. Because if not, then I just look like... I'm super oily. <laughs> and then to bronze up my skin, I'm going to be taking the Bare Essential Pro Press Powder. This is in the shade Teak, and I'm using that just to bronze up my skin and to contour just a little. And then to define a little bit more, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Lights Palette. For blush, I'm going to be using the Milani in Tea Rose. And then for my favorite part, we're going to be using Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill. I love this highlighter so much. It looks so good on everyone. And then for lipstick, I'm going to be using the Milani lipstick in the shade Toasted Truffle. And then that is the finished look. I hope you guys loved this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for me and don't forget to subscribe. And I love you guys all so, so much. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.